Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Jewelry by Monique's Jewels. Um, I wanted to just do kind of a different type of sterling video. I'm actually babysitting, and I have the baby on the monitor, so you might hear a little funny squeak every now and then. Um, if he starts to cry or whatever, I'll just pause the video and um, come back and finish. I have some pieces that I've had. I have a few pieces that are new. I don't have very many. I just haven't, they haven't gotten here yet. So, I'm just kind of panning through them. And this is going to be one of those videos where you're just going to see the pieces. And if you're interested in anything, then you can email me. Okay? And I'm doing it this way because these are pieces that have probably been shown before. A few of them. Um, for the newer subscribers, of course, this will be all new jewelry to them, but, um, I'm going to go through these and we'll just kind of go through them one by one. Um, I'm not even going to get out the ruler. I'm not going to get out the ring sizer. Um, I'm just going to show you some beautiful jewelry. These rings right through here that are in the boxes, these are sterling plated. Okay, they are adjustable. They are fabulous. They're adjustable just like this one. Okay. And they'll go anywhere from probably a 7 to a 9. Maybe even a little bigger. So we're going to start there with this ring that I picked up first. Fluorite. This one here is moonstone. It is beautiful. It's not a huge moonstone, but it's very pretty. This third one is, it's not Laramar, it is, oh shoot, I can't remember. It's not Adventuring, could be, well anyway, I'll figure it out here soon. Um, the fourth one is Amethyst, it's very pretty, it's got like little stripes in it, very cool. And they are, like I said, they're all, these that I'm showing you now are adjustable. This is called, Glo I finally figured it out. It's called Ghost Quartz. Or, um, Ghost Crystal. And it's a quartz. And it has a beautiful, almost like a seascape. It's like a little snow globe or something. It's just beautiful. The setting is pretty. And the last one is a quartz also. Where is it? There. And it looks kind of um, rutilated to me, but it's a beautiful stone. Silver plate, but they are very nice silver plate. Nothing cheap about them. Okay? No prices will be talked about right now. Okay? This ring here. Yep, you can hear the baby. This ring here is absolutely gorgeous. This is probably also a related quartz with a huge sterling band. Next, we have a kind of a wave ring. Totally sterling. Now, when you email me, I'll let you know the size. I'll let you know the price. Okay. This is Siam. Thailand sterling, but this one's an older one, so it is actually marked Siam. Okay, this one is also adjustable, but it is 925. It is a, it is a, sorry, I'm looking at the baby. It's a blue topaz with some very pretty crystals, and it is gorgeous. And as you can tell, it's probably going to be able to get um, up to maybe a nine. Okay, this one here is a citrine. I think. I'm pretty sure it's citrine. Beautiful little yellowstone. It is sterling. It's very pretty. This one is a sterling ring with some amethyst. And what I thought was some type of a fancy African jasper. I'm not sure what it is. But it is cute. 
Look at that. It looks like a little bug. It's very pretty. Kind of a rough amethyst. And probably two, two little amethyst stones or maybe even glass. Okay. And this one here is, of course, that kind of mosaic mother of pearl. Nice big piece of sterling. Um, I'll show you the inside there. It's very pretty. And that is a cutie here. This is a little smaller ring, but this is a very heavy sterling piece. Um, and that can be polished, and you can put initials on that. Okay. Yeah, I thought this would be interesting. Okay, this is this gorgeous cross necklace. This is These are sterling um, chains here. You have a toggle. It's very pretty. You have glass beads. You have real pearls. These are gold ring pearls. These are glass faceted beads and real pretty beads here. And then it comes down this gorgeous cross. I have really thought about taking the cross off, but I'm not going to because if someone purchases this and we talk about it, they can say, well, Monica, why don't you take that off of there and ship it to me without all those beads or they can get it home and take the beads off themselves. Of course, this is 925. This is a huge piece. It's gorgeous. Now, the cross is not that heavy, but it is very, very pretty. It's not hollow. It's just one piece. And it has a huge bell. Isn't that cool? Okay, now we're going to go through the earrings here. We have... The bears with lapis. Okay. I am very shocked. I still have these. These are marked sterling. Okay. And for any of you that want a close up, I will take pictures. Okay. We have unikite and mahogany jasper. Just gorgeous. Sterling hoops. We have a beautiful glass and what I think is quartz up here and 925 hoops or hooks, French hooks. These are definitely turquoise. These are gorgeous. They are marked. They're very, very pretty. And I will give you sizes and everything too, guys. We have beautiful penguins. They are 925, the hoops, the hooks. <coughs> Sorry, the hooks are 925. We have some Mexican sterling smaller hoops here. Beautiful design. Okay, we have these. These are so pretty. I put these on today. These are our mother pearl with marcasite, and it has what is called an omega. And what I was going to do was wear these with a post pierce, you know, pierced post in my ear and put this over the top so it will not fall off. But these are, I think, Thailand. They're definitely sterling. Okay. Next, we have some gorgeous crosses. These are shoes, just because I remember. We have these little hoops here. These are darling. Okay. Those are all sterling, thick sterling. Then we have the beautiful silver and gold. Very yellow gold. Uh, fasted glass. Um, I'll show you the market sites on this. Yeah, it's been a long day here. It's very, very pretty, and you have earrings to match. They're gorgeous. Next, we have the little pearl set. It's a bracelet with sterling silver findings here, and the necklace also. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, the baby is out, but I have to watch him because he wakes up from time to time and wants a bottle. Okay, isn't that pretty? And those are faux pearls, but they are probably some of the most, <laughs> I had to t keep testing them. And they have the little bead in between. 
almost looks like they're hand knotted, but they're not. We've got that pretty little bead. There's that set. Then we have this larger cuff here or um, clamper with an open working back. Pretty little CZ. It's a bigger bracelet. Then we have this gorgeous twisty light colored sterling. This is beautiful, guys. Um, if I remember right, this fits up to about like a seven and a half. It's an oval shape there with the safety chain. And it flips out just like that. And mark is there. Okay. Let's go to the necklaces. We're just going to go through them just like this. Open heart. That looks like the Tiffany heart, but it's not. It's on a beautiful vintage chain. Okay. Next, we have the ram for Aries. Or the, um, what is it? The, the rams. What's the name of that team? Dag on it. Why can't I think of it? But anyway, it is so cool. Los Angeles Rams in it. Um, very neat. So we have that one. Um, I just found this pendant. I was so happy to find it. This is Mother of Pearl with sterling, a large bale, and it's marked. I think it's the SU nine two five. Okay, we have that. Very pretty. And of course I can find a chain for that. Next, we have this gorgeous piece. It is a scroll work um, enhancer or slider here. That there. And then we have some black enamel on the back. I've actually seen this piece, but I can't remember where it was. This has a beautiful necklace. It's almost a herringbone, but it's not. It's thick, and it's nice. And I call that a Singapore, but I know that's not the correct terminology. Okay, next we have Teddy. And he is on a beautiful um, twisted rope, a um, lightweight twisted rope, vintage style. Very, very pretty. Okay. Next, we have, there we go, we have the kitty cat with some little crystals. Now, I tested those crystals, and they were diamond, but that's been a, six months ago. So, let's just say that those are beautiful rhinestones, okay, but I think they're real. This is like a Siamese cat. He's kind of squared. He is so cute. And he is attached here to a very nice chain, okay, with a beautiful lobster, all right. Next, we have the Millefeori. It is pretty. It is gorgeous. I haven't seen one quite like this. And, of course, it's got the sterling and the mark. You've got a very nice um, box chain with that one. Then we have the tiny whale tail. And it's on a beautiful chain. We have this Jeslane is the name of the brand. Um, vintage. These are most of these are vintage that I'm showing you right now. Vintage, kind of an open work, um, beautiful heart with chain. Okay. Next we have a Egyptian cartouche. Um, isn't that cool? I was laughing about it because it's got hands and feet. I have no idea what that means. Then on the back, you've got the other little cartouches. 925 right here. Then it is on a pretty vintage chain. Let's pull it up here. Yeah, a nice vintage chain. There. Next, we have this beaded necklace with some... All of the findings on this are sterling, even the little pendant hanging. So you've got lampwork beads here. They're very pretty. 
Let me show them to you real quick. Aren't those nice? Purples and pinks. Very pretty. And a, maybe a dusty blue here on these. Okay. And that's longer. You can kind of tell. Next, we have this beauty. And I'm going to show it to you up close. It's got kind of that um, checkerboard faceting. And it looks like a smoky quartz, but it's more like a brownish color. So this could definitely be um, maybe between an amethyst and a garnet. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and it's very pretty. It's heavier. It's on a very shiny, what I call a popcorn chain. That is vintage. All of these chains are marked 925, okay? Whether they're um, Italy or they're the brand, okay? Next, we have, I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to move this real quick. I have a rope that I have worn, and it is very pretty. And, of course, Italy 925, and it has a maker mark right there and it is nice it is a little thicker than some it's very pretty and um, it should be approximately close to seven seven and a half inches but we'll measure it and send you a picture if you're interested next I have this beauty it is a herringbone with a little um, thicker pattern than some herring bones. Um, this kind doesn't twist as much. You don't get kinks in these. And um, so that one's a little longer, I do believe. Yep, sure is. After that one, I have this one. And it is a flat, slinky, pretty herring bone. Look at that. You guys, I'm trying to get a box full of jewelry from somewhere. I just don't know where to get it from. I've tried Shop Goodwill. I've tried Thread Up. But we shall see. I can't wait. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is also a, probably about the same length as the rope. I think this is the longest of the two. Like I said, these are all Italy 925. Silver tone, silver colored sterling. Look how pretty that looks. Yeah, this one is just amazing. It's like a little, it's like a little snake. Very pretty. If anybody's interested in any of those, of course. You guys know to email me, and it's moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. Just leave me, um, like, we'll say a screenshot with a timestamp. Some people know how to do that, or just a timestamp. So it's like if I was showing this again, the timestamp shows me that it's 1849, and that would be close enough. If you'd say the herringbone in 1849, I'd know what you meant. Okay, next I have kind of a nice set here. These are all Silpata. And you know how I feel about my Silpata. But I have a piece I haven't worn. And we have a bracelet and an, a ring. Put that over there. And a dainty, beautiful little necklace, okay? So I'll put the necklace right here so you can see it. It has little crystals. Isn't that pretty? And on the end here is the tag. Just so you can see. Um, should be right there. And then... Yeah, this is really, really pretty and dainty. And then you have the Silpata here. The mark should be 
to turn it over. My hands are a mess, don't pay any attention. Is that the mark? Nope, of course it's going to be on the opposite side. Let's see. There we go, guys. So, very dainty and tiny. Okay, I'll lean that out there. Now we've got a huge beauty. So, pot of here. Um, let me see. Can't remember where the mark is. Should be someplace around. It should be right in there. Yeah, there it is. But this is like a dome ring on steroids. Look at this baby. Now, I've worn it a couple times. And I think it's right at a six and a half or six and three quarters, if I remember. But, like I said, I'll take pictures and let you know more if you're interested in that baby. Isn't that pretty? Very shiny. Very unusual. Okay. Next, we have a Silpata bracelet. Let's see if I can get the cartouche. Hmm. Is that it? Nope. Is it on the underside? No, it's on the other side. Okay, this is the chain links. Very pretty. I think this is the Silpata mark on this end. Let's see. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. Well, it's somewhere. Let me look. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it here. Well, it's definitely so potty. You can even look it up. I mean, it's a common, more common bracelet than some. Sopata has a lot of different pieces from kind of all over. It says Italy. 925. Oh, it's there somewhere. I'll find it if you guys would like this. This is probably a seven and a half. Um, I still don't see it. Wow. I actually had two of these. Isn't that wild? Okay, so we'll let you see the whole view on that one. And then the last Silpata that I have that I'm willing to sell is this gorgeous piece here. It is a toggle and it is a heart. Isn't that beautiful? The heart itself is filigree around the edge. And Let's see what we got going on. Can you hear the baby? He's moving around a bit. He's okay though. Let's see. It's kind of fun doing it this way. Without having to say prices and stuff. You know what? Maybe this isn't. If this is Silpata. I know it is. Dang on it. Because it says, I wouldn't hold my phone. I'd really be mad. Okay, that's what it's called. And we'll just leave it at that. But this is gorgeous. This has been sitting with my Silpata. S-I-D-A-E. Hmm. Anyway, this thing is gorgeous. And if the mark's on here, I will find it. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a good evening. 
Mm. Well, anyway, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I'll give you a whole look at it. I think it's right at, I think it's about 16. But it's gorgeous. If you're interested, do you know what to do? Okay. Next, we have this beautiful little, to me it looks like a star or something. Isn't that pretty? It's got a CZ that's about a three quarters of a carat CZ that looks very expensive and pretty. Um, it does have a cartouche and a mark. And like I said, I'll send you pictures. You've got that there. Pretty little vintage chain on it. Very, very nice. I wanted to show you the inside of this one. Because it was marked. Yep, there you go. Okay. And then we have two more pieces. Two or three more pieces and we'll be done for the night. <laughs> the baby is still knocked out. Okay. This is like little um, reddish purple I'm just going to say glass beads because I am not sure. Um, this is just very pretty. This is like rosary style. All of it is sterling. And I'll show you the end piece. It's just a nice little piece to put on. There's that. Okay. And it's very pretty. And I'll lay that back that way so you can see it. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of, to me, it looks like it's garnet. Okay. I just love it. Okay, next, of course, is this beautiful coral. It is fabulous. Gorgeous stripes. And this is marked. This is that Somerset Sterling. Hold on here. I'll try not to cough, so the baby won't hear me. This comes with a set of earrings. There's one. And two. Okay. And last but not least, I have a new piece. Guess what it is? It is Bumblebee Jasper. Gorgeous. It is older sawtooth bezel. I'll show you the inside. Sorry, I just got choked. Beautiful. Oh, it's the bottom. Well, of course, I took my medicine light. Okay, so that is that. Very pretty piece. Very unusual. Thought you guys might like looking at that beautiful yellowish orange. When I first saw it, the lady looked at me and I was like, oh my God, that's Bumblebee Jasper. I have to have it. But that is the last piece in this sale. And remember, whatever you'd like to know about, we will email each other. I will give you a price and pictures. I will give you sizes. I might do this a couple times in the next few weeks. Um, these are beautiful pieces, but they are still with me. And I would like to move these so I can get new things. So I'm going to do some fabulous pricing. Um, I'm going to try not to lose money, and I'm going to try to make sure you guys get a good bargain. And remember, if this piece here catches your eye, this can be taken apart. And you guys just let me know, because this is gorgeous. So we'll go back through them real quick. And 
tomorrow. I will probably go through the rest that I didn't show you tonight. Okay? So, we're going to get off of here. I want you guys to have a wonderful Father's Day with your significant others. For the fathers that aren't here, we just always um, want to acknowledge them. My father is not here. So, um, Father's Day is always very special. So, you guys have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful Juneteenth. And we will get back with you here as soon as we can. So stay well and stay blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.